Whoa! <laughs> Shredding the darkness, dudes! Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because it's episode 25 of the free bike challenge and we had the best thing ever happen yesterday just before we went on an off-road session so look at this oh my dreams look what we've just found oh, a pure free bike well yes please we're going to take that then for the next episode <laughs> so sick that is actually the best. That's reminded me of the first ever episode. I love that. People just take a bike, don't want it anymore, and then pass it on for someone else to have fun. And we are definitely going to have the most fun ever on that thing. So let's uh, take it back home and uh, get it fixed, ready for a shreddy. After finding that bike, we did continue on a little off-road mission in the Jeep, but it is now the next day, and here it is. Look, the free bike. This is the Emil, look. The Emil, the Emele Predator. Full suspension beast. I think it's gonna be a very fun machine to session. I did notice that the front wheel is a little bit buckled already, which might have to do a little few upgrades, but I think it's just ready to be shredded straight away. Yeah, it seems to work. Brakes are working. So we're just gonna go over the bolt, check it over a tiny bit, and um, then we'll be ready to ride. I'm just making sure the most important bits are done up, like handlebars, headsets and things. I think everything is done up because it's just rusted together. So like, <laughs> it's not actually gonna have come loose anyway. So that, really fast single twist of the handlebars is all the uh, maintenance we need to do. So let's go and shred this hard at the local trails. We're now down at the local riding spot and I have the Predator ready for a Shredditor. And we're gonna go down one of these death features first. Like this is like a bold steep zone. There's loads of different places to ride down. The brakes aren't that good though. I think I will just go straight into this death line here. It's actually not fun on a good bike though. Is that a bit much? I'm actually, it's better when I'm worried because it means that it's actually fun and like dangerous and cool. Right, go down there though maybe. Mm. And I'll drop into that. Here we go. Dropping. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> I was well scared on that. These brakes don't work kind of at all. Darren, show him how to do it on a bike with brakes that work. Oh, okay, so actually it's better to ride it on free bikes than real bikes. Cool, let's see what else we can find. Right, we're now gonna hit a full montage lap down one of these trails. So let's see how long this is gonna last. Oh. Oh. oh, it's a speed demon. Wow. Oh, oh dream. Oh my god, that back wheel! So much flow on this thing. Oh, cut it! Felt like that back wheel was gonna snap. Yes, it survived. The last section then was pretty slow, but uh, that was well fun. It's actually always just so surprising that bikes that are this cheap and old and in this case free can actually make it down trails love it 
So fun. Let's see if it can perform a 360. Right, we're now over at the next feature that Ollie is about to demonstrate for us, look. Oh, sender. That was well good, mate. What a dude, look. Give him a wave, Ollie. <laughs> nice. We're now, not we, no one else, just me, is gonna attempt to 360 this on the Predator. Is it gonna land? Cast your votes now. Here we go. Wow. I actually bent the forks doing that. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. I've decided that that's actually so deaf and cracked and dangerous, so we're gonna go home and upgrade this bike so far that it actually becomes worth something. Let's go and see what we get up to. Cool. Yeah, Charlie Watts is in for a backflip. Charlie! Everyone, he is a teacher. Oh, wow. Wow, that was way better than a flip. You recorded that, not me. Sick. Okay, let's get out of here. It's now day two, and we're back home to take this thing apart and try and get it working again. Now the back wheel's fully buckled, so we need a fresh one of them on, and the forks are bent which are just so dangerous to ride because I don't want them to snap and then face plant the floor. So I'm going to get the forks off first then we can see if anything's actually going to be able to fit to them. This might do it. Wow, that is strong. I need something else. Here we go. Just come off. Bike's bleeding. Oh. <laughs> Some oil everywhere. I'm actually thinking that this is a way too thin um, front fork fitting zone. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to put good ones on this bike. Ah, there we go. Oh, I don't think anything is going to fit in there, it's so small. I just grabbed some forks out of the garage quick to test the sizing and they actually won't fit. That is the first time I think I've come across a, a head tube that's too small, which is really annoying actually. I'm going to see what I've got in the other shed because there might be some more old stuff that will fit on there. So let's have a look. They're the only forks I found that would fit it. <laughs> so it went from like me wanting to like properly upgrade it to, to no, just making it work now. Look at that. It's actually really cool. That might be a new thing. Rigid front, soft rear. Well, good. Is that gloves on there? Mmm, <laughs> clawfish. Do you know what, Lou? Well, actually, you don't know, Louis, nor does anyone else watching, but some nice guy sent me a link to a stair set of doom. It was not that far away. That's where we're going on this now. Cool. And it's massive. It looks treacherous, treacherous, especially on this thing, which I thought was actually going to have Fox 40s on, not, um, not DMR Trailblade forks. <laughs> wow, might be a bit of corrons. Things have got super franken right now because I've had to take off the bars off the tandem. Like these forks are actually off the tandem bike that you might have seen in previous videos. And then because it's so old, the tandem, like the newer bars don't fit inside the fork. So I've had to go for these ridiculous bars that are off the tandem as well. So it's just, it just looks ridiculous now. As you can see now, we've got the forks on, the bars on. I'm just going to have a back brake only because it's too much faff to have a front on there. That means we should be able to do some bar spins on it as well. The back wheel's destroyed, so I'm just going to find a back wheel off another old bike. And then it's ready to get back into the shreddy. So let me go and find a wheel quick. Found a wheel on the tandem. Ah, right, there we go. 
back wheel is on, she's got to link up, link up this back brake. Look at that, rigid front, soft rear that barely works anyway. But we're missing one thing, and that is some fresh pilgrims. Way! Put on some little readies here to get ready for a shreddy. Oh, rhyming mastermind. Some call me Stormzy. Right, the bike is fully completed and ready to go now. So let's go and check out this huge stair set of doom that guy told me about. Let's get out of here. We've just turned up at St. John the Baptist Church for a spot of ghost hunting. No, I'm joking. The thing's actually over there somewhere. Um, there's some sort of mound around here and that's where the stair set is and it says footpath, public footpath through here. So we're assuming we go that way because on the map it looks like it's over there. So we gotta grab the bikes out. Louis gonna eeb, I'm gonna freeb. And we're going to find this stair set of doom. We have arrived. The ditch and mound behind me are the remains of a castle from the 12th century at a time of a bitter civil war known as the anarchy. But the only anarchy that's going to be happening around here right now is me dropping in on the free bike down that huge stair set of doom. Let's get it. I'm now on top of this ancient piece of land where a castle used to sit and it is firing over there. Unfortunately, it is literally mossy. I've got one break, I'm so scared. <sighs> well, didn't come all this way for nothing. Drapping. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh. That was horrible. Wow, that was so, so sketchy on this thing. I think it's time to go and throw some bar spins. But riding down that has really made me think what did this castle actually look like? Archaeologists have found no evidence for a building or anything to suggest the mound was permanently occupied. It may have been topped by a small lookout tower or palisade of sharpened stakes to protect the defenders. Interesting, right? Let's get out of here. We've decided to come to the picturesque island of Mersey to try out their mini skate park here. I think it's going to be a perfect place to spin some bars. So let me just see on the flat here how it's going to go. We can do a little pick up bar. Oh. I think that front wheel touched actually. That's stupid. I think actually if you throw it hard enough though, it will go around. Oh, could actually try that out of the jump really, if I'm slinging it hard enough. The forks are that bendy, if I do that, the bars spin. <laughs> That's surely not safe. I think I can get one bar spout of it then. Here we go. Bar spin. Hey! That was well smooth. I bet they still work. I did it so smooth, but it's fine. Right, I'm going to get redemption on that 360. I'm going to fly out of that one into the grass. Oh. Clean. Okay, that was a tiny 360, but every time I jump, these forks bend, look. Meaning the front wheel doesn't actually spin round, which is kind of sketchy, because if I land really heavy, then they're just going to snap. Um, and the positioning here is super weird. I'm going to see if I can do grinds, because I don't care about this bike, so we can probably get a grind down here. That's actually scary in itself. Oh. Right, that's it. 
I'm stomping that one. Oh, don't know what that was. That felt quite good. Here we go. Big disaster to finish it off. <laughs> oh, it's so low. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo, solo. It's a proper low rider. <laughs> okay, I fly out of there and that will finish it. Just don't want to hit my face on the floor. I'm scared. Ooh, what a scary game this is. It's like a Russian roulette. When's it gonna snap and punch my face with the front wheel? What a fun game. Here we go. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I reckon it's got one more in it. <laughs> wow. That was fun. It was actually a really fun free bike challenge. The, the way that rode in the, on the trails was actually very surprising. Unfortunately, them forks didn't work. If only this top tube, uh, if only this head tube was thick enough, we could have got some real forks on there. And then who knows what would have happened. Ah. Oh well, we do like to destroy each free bike every time we ride it. So here we go, that is another episode done, but that is not the end of the video. So I've got something a little special for you right now. Bonus section. Right, so something cool happened the other day. Got an email and in that email was a person saying, hey, would you like some free light? And I was like, who doesn't like free stuff? So I got these O lights and obviously it's winter and it gets dark all the time. So we thought we'd come to Danbury to have a little shreddy and these things are super powerful like we got these small ones here which are the uh, R no these are the these are the RN 1500 that's 1500 lumens each one and then there's this huge one which is 2000 lumens so we're going to test out some night riding and just sort of blind each other with these insane lights so let's get into the action <laughs> me and Louis both have lights. I'm not going to really look at you too much because they're so powerful. All these lights have like loads of different settings to make them brighter and stuff. So we're in quite a full power mode now. Let's just go straight in, Louis. All right. Look, it's like daylight. Get it, loops. Dropping. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Whoa! Oh my god, I thought I was landing in the back of you then. This is incredible. No way! Oh! Shredding the darkness, dudes! Yes! Okay, this is the dream. No way. Ew. Okay, that was fire. Yeah. That was actually oh. epic, weren't it? Yeah. Wow. That's just given us like an extra loads of hours of fun then. Yeah. Just by having some lights on. Dream! Lou, how sick was that? Actually insane. I've never night ridden. No. Like, that was well fun. Yeah. It like actually fully daylight almost. Yeah. Oh wait, there's more. What is this? There's someone coming out of the darkness. Who's coming out of the darkness? That looks scary. Yeah, dude. Whee! Darren Eastall's in for some action. All right, mate. He's got his uh, lights on. Lube's got his lights on. We're fully lit up. Let's... Um, Smash a different trail then, and you can join us, Darren. Yeah, yeah, man. Sweet, here we go. We're into another trail now. Louis' little red light flashing ahead. Oh, got sliding then. Dr 
dreams. Cleans. Steams. <laughs> Flying! Whoa! Little Manny. Both mine go right there. What both your? Yeah. So, Darren's got dinosaur lights, not O lights, and they've run out of battery. See? You need these beasts, mate. Right, we just finished a little ride then in the complete pitch black. And like, I've never done a night ride before. So thank you very much, Olight, for hooking me up with these beasts. If you guys want to get involved in some night riding too, they're doing a Black Friday sale right now. If you hit the link in the description and use the code SAM, then you get a huge discount and you can join in on the fun as well. The free bike challenge was epically fun as well. I hope you guys love the free bike challenge still because I really love making them. Uh, but on that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments. And it would be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.